हेलो गाइस वेलकम टू अनदर वीडियो द टॉपिक ऑफ दिस वीडियो इज ड्रग डोजेज एंड फिक्स डोज रेशियो कॉम्बिनेशन सो ऑल द नोट्स अगेन आर टेकन फ्रॉम के डी त्रिपाठी इन दिस टॉपिक आई बी एक्सप्लेनिंग द ड्रग डोजेज एंड फिक्स डोज रेशियो कॉम्बिनेशन सो विदाउट एनी डीले लेट स्टार्ट सो वॉट इज अ डोज डोज इज एन एप्ट और अप्रोप्रिएट अमाउंट ऑफ ड्रग दैट इज नीडेड टू प्रोड्यूस एनी काइंड ऑफ रिस्पॉन्स इन द बॉडी that is what a dose is dose is divided into many types as in there are many types of doses that is the standard dose the regulated dose the target level dose and the titrated dose so we'll see each one and this is how they are defined as in a bit more words can be used to define them but more or less the gist remains the same so i'll first read the definition and then try to explain it to you so what is a standard dose same dose is apt for most patients example is penicillin so in this case the amount of dose that is given is more or less the same to every patient hence it is universally or regionally the same and a particular example is penicillin the next dose that is the regulated dose the dose is adjusted by repeated measurements of the physiological parameters the parameters are seen and according to the physiological parameters the dose is adjusted that is the dose that is given to the patient is adjusted accordingly now next we come to target level dose so what is a target level dose target level dose is target level monitoring is not available hence adjustments are made by observing the patient's conditions so in regulated dose they observe the physiological parameters in target level dose they observe the target that is the patient and then they make the appropriate adjustments to to the drug dosage that is given hence there is no accurate range which is provided to which the drug is active or the drug is efficient hence the patient is monitored the signs and symptoms are noted and then the adjustment to the drug level and drug effic uh, efficiency or efficacy is made the last one is the titrated dose so in this the optimal dose is arrived by titrating with acceptable level of adverse effect so there are going to be adverse effects of some high energy or high power doses so what they do is there are some to some level they allow the adverse effects and these uh there is an optimal dose for this amount of adverse effect to be happening hence for a particular result that they require they allow that much adverse effect with that amount of dose any higher dose can be fatal and can lead to death hence a particular dose a uh, limit is set and that much only dose is given with a side effect which is already known and already recorded a higher or lower dose can be dangerous to the patient a very good example for this type of dose is the anti cancer drugs and it it is self in a self explanatory now after the example so now we move on to fixed dose combinations fixed dose combinations are pharmaceutical preparations that have one or more drugs in it in a fixed combination ratio that may be 1 is to 2 2 is to 1 or any others the advantage of this type of uh, combinations are they are convenient and patient compliant the patient just has to take one drug uh, as in one medication and it he, he does not have to take more drugs so that relieves him of some type of uh, stress and anxiety certain combinations are synergistic hence the uh, activity of two drugs working together can be synergistic hence the activity can increase and Uh, yeah affect the patient in a good manner side effect of one may be contradict contracted by another that is what happens is side effect of one drug may be uh, nullified by the uh, second drug and the se uh, side effect of the second drug may be nullified by the first drug hence the very good example of this is in di diuretics that is thiazide and potassium sparing di diazide every coin has two sides so with advantages there are disadvantages also not all drugs are needed hence some side effects are additional and can can't be nullified with the other drugs adverse effect that happens cannot be 
attributed to uh, any one particular drug it is to the full medication hence the drug has to be found out and then it has to be corrected or additional medicine has to be given time courses of the drugs may be different so that's it for this chapter i'll give you a moment to take a screenshot if you want to thank you guys and we'll be coming up with the next video very soon